Morgan Hine with Integrity Internet Marketing and we are going to look at some free software called Jing and Jing actually does a couple different things one it will record up to five minutes of screen casting in other words if you want to do basically what I'm doing right here and capture what is on your screen to video Jing will do that for you and uh, it will also capture any part of a website that you want to make into an image. In other words, if you see a picture or anything really that you can see on your computer screen, then Gene will capture that part that you identify and make it into an image that can then be embedded into a document or used on a website or whatever you're wanting to use it for. So as you can see, we're on the Gene website. It's actually some software created by TechSmith, which they also are the creators of Camtasia, which is a higher level uh, screen software, screen capture software that there is a cost to, although what it costs and what you get is pretty, uh, you know, it's a good value. And when you record uh, the video part of Gene, what it does is it will do one of two things. You can capture it as a media file, or you can capture it and put it on screencast. As you can see down here, there's a, sc a screencast.com. And so what that does, it allows you where they store your video uh, in the cloud and basically give you a hyperlink to it and so when you're distributing that video you just send people a hyperlink and that hyperlink will take them to the video and you don't have to host it or manage it or anything. Uh, the, the media file it creates it used to not do this but now it seems like it's created with an extension that only Camtasia can read so uh, I'll show you what I mean here uh, momentarily. Uh, used to not do that. Again, I'm not quite sure why they changed it unless it's just for the purpose of you know selling their software. But anyways, on this page is techsmith.com uh, slash gene and you can see the link here that will download the software free onto your system. Uh, there are some tutorials teaching you how to use it if you want to go beyond what I'll show you here. Overview, video, and so forth and so on. Uh, so basically, uh, we'll just go ahead and and use it and show you how it works. But obviously, you got it already loaded on my software. Now, you see this little icon right here. This is normally the little moon-looking thing that lets you know that uh, Jing is loaded and available to be used and normally it will sit up on the top by default up at the top of your screen. I don't leave mine there because uh, as you can see I have a lot of tabs open and a lot of times this will conflict with that and in the process of trying to hit one of these little buttons depending on what I'm trying to do I'll close a tab or whatever it just is inconvenient for me so basically I've got it here on my taskbar but uh, but basically I, uh, if you click that one it tells you it's already loaded in here so I just go into here and access my gene from here which I'll do for the sake of teaching you and now it lets you say you can capture something you can see your history and gives you some various other checking for updates and, and other various things but what we're going to do and what it does primarily is capture either again in either a video format and so you get these crosshairs where you can identify what part of the screen you either want to capture as an image or you want to record the screen and so for the sake of this let's just say you know uh, I just left clicked and just moved the crosshairs to the area that I want to capture and then this little thing up here comes up and the one that if you put your cursor on it you say capture that as an image so if I click that right now 
what's in those crosshairs, that rectangle would become an image, and we'll show you how to do that a little bit more. Uh, if you come here, it says capture video, and then you can uh, redo your selection if you realize you want to capture more or less, and you can cancel the thing. It tells you what size, basically, of the area you've got captured. But for the sake of this right now, we'll just do the video capture. And once you do that, it has a little countdown that you know, okay, your mic's on, and now you are recording. So it's recording the screen, it's recording your voice. And so whatever you do from this point on, and you see these little dotted lines moving, let you know it's happening and it's, and it's going on. So I could click through some of this stuff and and whatever is on this screen, what's in within this capture area is going to be is recording as a video. And then you can pause it. Uh, you can mute your voice and just have just the screen being recorded. Or you can tell, okay, I've got everything. And you can see a countdown here. So you can see how many seconds of your five-minute total that you have used up. So this free version only lets you record up to five minutes. That's pretty long for most circumstances or situations. Otherwise, you you know have to do it in multiple videos or use a different software. So I want to say, hey, that's good. That's all I need. And, and it's going to uh, kind of take a second to process and then it's going to pop up this screen and you can actually play and listen to what you captured in that whatever period of time. So I can click right here on and now and you are recording. So it's recording the screen, it's recording your voice. So basically and so you're recording the recording at this point. From this point on, and you see these little dotted lines moving let you know it's happening. It's, it's, okay, so I just pause that. But you still have it up here and so because it wants to know what you want to do. You either want to share it via screencast.com Again, if you click on that, it's going to give you, and we'll do it here in a second, uh, it's going to give you a URL where this video is located on their servers uh, as a just as a URL. Again, you don't have access to the actual video itself. They host it. You just maintain and store that hyperlink to send to people, or you can do a save and it will save the file. But again, it's going to save it to an extension that, unless you have Camtasia, I believe it won't. Uh, you won't be able to do much with it unless you have some other software that can convert, uh, convert or you can cancel or you can customize some stuff. But anyways, we're just going to, for the sake of this, since most people may not have Camtasia, because if you had Camtasia, basically you would use it to do the same thing we're doing in Jing, so it's kind of, kind of bizarre. But anyways, so I'm going to say share via screencast.com and again, it's going out there and it's kind of configuring that video and creating that URL. So depending on how large the file is, it's going to depend on how long it takes to do whatever it does. And usually it does it faster than that, but my computer's running slow because I've got a bunch of stuff open. Wow, it's taking a real long time. But normally what happens is a little rectangular uh, window shows up here. There it is. Uploaded to Screencast. And you can say uh, view on screencast.com. When you do that, it will take you to a website, creates a URL up here, and has your video online. So again, at this point, uh, the video will come up and you can play it. You just want to, uh, I just, you want to basically copy that URL to be stored and saved and, and used in the future. Again, you can play it right here because this is what people will see. On and now you are this recording. Is so it's recording the screen, it's recording your voice. And so, so what basically this is what people will see obviously it's it's branded with Jing and TechSmith so you know they're providing you free software they like other people to get it and they like other people like yourself to to like it to get used to using it and then eventually buy their Camtasia software at the end of the day that's what it's all about um, 
So anyways, at this point, all you got to do is save that icon, I mean, save that URL and manage it ever how you would manage it, and you can then uh, use that to promote your videos uh, without having to host them. And that is basically it. Again, uh, in another video, we'll do a screen capture with the, uh, with the, uh, as an image, which works similar, but basically if you can do what I just did, you could do the, the image capture, but we'll do it just as a, a demo. And again, this is Frank Lugenheim with Integrity Internet Marketing, and appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you want to, right below, you can subscribe to my channel or any of my social media sites, and there you will get additional information, whether it would be videos on my YouTube channel or information on our uh, Facebook or Twitter accounts. And blessings to you.